Hi, and welcome to my video about how to make an RC airplane. The idea here was to design and build something simple that would allow me learning 3D flying. If you stick around, you will see for yourself what the outcome was. So here's how it went. First, you print out and put together the plans. I use A4 paper, trace and cut out all the parts. Here's what it looks like when complete. Now I work on the parts. I do bevels on control surfaces, on the rudder here, and ailerons and the elevator. Since all the parts are nice and flat, this is a good time for me, I think, to do the decorating, because once the model is assembled, it's going to be much more difficult and awkward. So I do it beforehand before assembling the entire plane. I use packing tape because I use plain Depron XPS foam. If you do your model with foam board, then you can skip this part and spray over, or have it brown or white if you like. For the hinges, I use a packing tape. Again, this is a decorating continued. I put in a mock-up of the cab and the paint scheme. I named the airplane the X-Wasp, hence the colors. I looked at all the wasp graphics on the internet I could find, and I came up with this paint scheme. I do like it. I don't know. You judge for yourself. Also, I include registrations marks and gave it a little type logo if you please. And here, we start assembling. So first I install the elevator rod, mask it with some tape, and then put all the parts in. First the elevator, then I do the rudder. For hinges, I use little bits of mica plastic, just to have it nice and firm, and secure it with another bit of a packing tape. The wing I put together using some hot glue and the reinforced tape on both sides. Put it in the slot, making sure it's square. Two beads of hot glue to secure in place does the job just right. Then, remaining elements of a fuselage and we're nearly there. Just the electronics on. The motor mount is simple, just a bit of plywood put it in the pre-cut slot. I slap the electronics on using the double-sided tape and Velcro. The landing gear, as you can see, I'm using from my other model. I just stripped the Sea Sparrow. That saves me time. Actually, I tried to design all my projects that I can interchange parts, so it saves me time and money. And you know, I'm both lazy and tight, I don't like to spend money. So that helps a lot, makes the whole job a lot quicker. These two little screws, I like to put it in just to make it easier for me to find the center of gravity. You just put your fingers under wings, and it's right there. You don't have to be looking for it. Now the battery, also double-sided tape and the Velcro, just like the other bits. Then tidy up the wiring. I use scotch tape and the cable ties. They do the job quite well, just a bit of glue at the end chop off the rest. 
and it is nice and neat. The same goes for the push rods. Now it's just a spinner on and it's ready. So yeah, the Maiden was on a quite windy day. I took it out because the skies were really pretty. I wanted to take some nice footage. The plane is responsive, quite nimble, quite fast, and I'm loving it. I'm gonna keep it just to practice my so-called 3D flying. And then yes, speaking of a 3D flying, that's how it went. What you saw here was combination of mixed up input and panic. Then after the fixes, it's back in the air, flies nicely. I was more careful here as you can see. I just wish I could fly a lot better with this airplane because it's capable. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And when I see you guys are out there, that gives me super boost and motivation to complete further projects. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.